It's so cute. The green onions. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Just left the Asian market and we got our one of our favorite ice creams. Melon and coconut ice cream, Malona, and a bunch of other treats. <laughs> Look how pretty this peach soda is from Japan. I used to drink these all the time, but they're really good. They're really tasty. They're kind of a little more fragrant than you'd expect for a drink, but the label's just really pretty and the bottle. So we're still working on the house. This is in the hallway going to the bathroom. I just started working on the corners and I'm going to start doing the smooth coat as soon as I finish uh, this corner and the trim on the door there. But it's coming along pretty good. So this is going to end up being like a faux beam going into the mudroom and Kara just hung that up there. I don't know why he wanted to see how it would look. Um, but I'm going to finish this off and then eventually it's going to be wrapped in wood um, and it's going to look like a faux beam. But right now we're just drywalling it just to make it look nice until we're able to do that because uh, we're not sure how we're going to do it or what wood we're going to use. We want to kind of find some reclaimed wood so we're going to wait until we find the right wood for that. We are doing the tape of bed on the drywall and I'm already tired. <laughs> but it's coming along. <laughs> white almost. Yeah, if you look right here, when it dries, it's green, but it's real faint. Yeah. So we're doing this really, it's called Neon Mint, and it's a really faint green, but it almost looks white. I feel like there's not enough of a difference in color, but it's still really wet, so we'll see. May have to change it. <laughs> So this needs one more coat of the white, um, and the white that we use is DuJour. It's called DuJour at Lowe's, and this is the Neon Mint. Maybe because it's not right next to each other, but it's starting to look a little bit more greener in here, so we'll see. Probably should have used your paint sprayer. I've been dehydrating loads of watermelon. I just did a whole huge one last night that I think I showed you guys. So a tip with dehydrating watermelon is, or any melon actually, because cantaloupe it can happen to too, is they can actually get burnt in the dehydrator. So you have to keep an eye on it and take them out as soon as they are all the way dry. Um, and you'll know they'll still be pliable and sticky and kind of chewy. That's totally, that's how they should be, but once they, re, uh, once they're past that stage and they kind of turn like an ugly brownish red, they've gone too long, and you can still eat them, but they are not going to taste as good as they taste when they're at this stage. So something Garrett just noticed is my paint colors match perfectly to our egg. So this is an Americana egg, and this is just a regular Leghorn egg, and I'm going to show you how the paint colors match. How wild is that? So the blue egg is on the right and the white egg on the left. And then if you go over to our white paint, it's like the opposite. Guys, chill out. Sorry. OK. 
kids are goofing off. Is that wild? Anyway, so if you've always wanted to paint a room the same color as your Americana eggs, look for Neon Mint by Valspar at Lowe's because that is pretty much the exact color. I have the 2020 quarter. It's got a bat on it. Look at that. Cool.